It's glorious when you can embarrass your children. Isn't it fun, finally, after all these years in college and going, ah, is this child ever going to graduate? So we dare each other. We were at, in Charleston, there was this little strip mall, and there was Bad Kitty. Have you ever seen Bad Kitty? It's naughty lingerie. So Holmes says, I dare you to go in there. I went, all right. I walked into Bad Kitty. He's right behind me. All right, I dare you to buy something. Well, my 81-year-old, almost bestest friend in the world, was getting married again. I said, oh, I'll buy something funny. Tame. That was hard to find. (laughs) The tamest thing I found was edible underwear. (laughs) So I put a little bag in my pocketbook. And Holmes said, I cannot believe I'm so embarrassed. Good. Finally. So we went to see Mr. Rogers. We're sitting in the movie about halfway through. Well, y'all, I got hungry. (laughs) So I saw it gnawing on my bad kitty drawers. (laughs) I was just waiting on the guy with the flashlight to go, click, click, ma'am. No food in the theater. I was going to say, oh, it's sitting food. This is my underwear. (laughs) I was going to make it really good. Holmes kept saying, Mom, you're embarrassing me. Good. He said, this is Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, not sex in the city. He kept saying that. (laughs) Well, I was speaking to a bunch of Baptist women down in Jekyll Island. And the meeting planner is a friend of mine. I said, I got this really cute story, but I don't want to offend anybody. I said, can I tell this? He said, oh, my gosh, they'll think it's hilarious. So I I told the bad kitty story. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Everybody had a ball. Afterwards, this woman, ma'am, she had the walker with the tennis balls, ma'am, ma'am. I went, uh-oh, I stepped in it now. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, you know that story you done told about bad kitty and them edible drawers? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, tastes just like fruit roll-ups, don't it? <laughs> <laughs>